Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. I am Somshaker and back with edge phase error and sample point concept of a CAN protocol. In this video we are going to discuss about how exactly phase error will be detected by any CAN node. As we discussed in our previous video, the receiver determines the incoming bit with the help of a position of the edge relative to the synchronization segment and the decided sample point usually 80% in 80% in a CAN network. It can be 80 to 90% and it will be decided by network design engineers or system engineers at the time of designing any network. Means CAN network. Now we will understand how receiver interprets the incoming data legitimately. For example, now we will consider the sampling point is 80% just just for our understanding purpose let us consider the case one as you can see in this slide as you all know in a can the bit time is divided into four different kinds of segments they are synchronization segment propagation segment phase buffer segment 1 and phase buffer segment T sorry phase buffer segment 2 and the sample point exists between end of phase buffer segment 1 and at the starting of phase buffer segment 2 as you can see in this slide the sample point at 80 percent as I already said it can be vary from 80 to 90 percent now we will understand the edge phase error with the different cases with three different cases let us consider edge lies within this synchronization segment within this synchronization segment means within this time quota time quanta from year to year as you all know the synchronization segment will be always one time quanta the same you can see here hence if the edge is occurring within this synchronization segment means there will not be any edge phase error that means the edge phase error E is equal to zero the same you can see here the bit is exactly occurs within the synchronization segment as you can see within this time quanta now suppose consider the case 2 edge lies before the sync segment and it will not be available to the receiver at appropriate sample point of 80 percent as you can see as soon as the edge occurs here within the sample point the edge will be available at the 80 percent you can see here so the receiver can determine the incoming bit appropriately when it occurs within the sync segment now we are talking about the second case the synchronization segment is available before the sync segment as you can see here what will happen in this case the edge phase error E will be greater than 0 means edge lies before the synchronization segment you can see here not within this time quanta so this will be available at less than 80 percent of the sampling point for the node or we can say it as a receiver therefore edge phase error E is equal E sorry E greater than 0 here now you may ask how to compensate this edge phase error in a CAN network how the node or receiver will be compens will compensate this edge phase error by lengthening the phase buffer segment one this one by increasing this phase buffer segment one the edge phase error E greater than zero will be corrected by a receiver again you may ask how how much time quanta it has to lengthen or how how it will determine how much it has to learn that very simple that depends on the resynchronization jump width or synchronization jump width now consider the case 3 <coughs> we have seen within the sync segment before the sync segment obviously the case 3 will be after the sync segment as you can see here in this case the edge phase error E will be less than 0 once again the edge will 
not occur at 80% of the sampling point hence receiver might not determine this incoming bit as properly now again you may ask how to compensate this edge face error for previous we have learned then now what receiver will do receiver will shorten the face buffer segment to in order to in in order to interpret the incoming bit properly therefore here the edge face error e less than 0 as you can see in this slide i hope you all understood this For queries please leave comments below if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel secrets of automotive industry and hit thumbs up thank you all